Our first experiment today, we're going to create a rubber egg. When we think of rubber, we think of the tip of a pencil, that eraser. It is hard and uh, it is bouncy. But is an egg, a normal egg, that like we have here, is that egg bouncy? Let's see. Ooh, it's not bouncy. Let's have a closer look. As you can see, the egg broke and all of its contents came spilling out. Step number one, take a fresh egg, put it in a pot of water, and place the water on the stove and turn the stove on. What we want to do is create a hard boiled egg. A hard boiled egg means the egg is cooked all the way through. This should take roughly around 10 to 15 minutes. I already have a hard boiled egg. And what we're gonna do, place the egg inside of a cup, and we're gonna take regular white vinegar. Please, please, please always label everything. We're gonna pour the vinegar inside the container that has the egg, and we're gonna cover the egg. And we're gonna let this sit for 12 to 24 hours. Once again, a hard boiled egg inside of a glass or a regular container and cover it with vinegar. Do you see the bubbles that are being created? The bubbles surrounding the egg? I already have two eggs here that have, that has been sitting for 24 hours. The first egg is my hard boiled egg and I'm going to use a spoon and gently remove the egg. You can see here, the shell has completely dissolved in the vinegar. And oh, wow. As you can see, it's bouncy. <laughs> we just created a rubber egg. Oh, it is very firm, just like a rubber eraser. See? You could mash it in and it bounces. No mess. The reason why this is happening is because of a chemical reaction, which we are going to go over. But first, let's look at the parts of an egg. Pretend this is the inside of an, of, of an egg. And in the middle, we have the yolk, which is the yellow part. The white or the clear part covering, surrounding the yolk is called the albumin. And then, which is the blue. So the blue is gonna be the albumin. Now the albumin is wrapped up in a very thin membrane, just like this. So now we have three parts. We have the yolk, which is this black dot. The blue represents the albumin or the very clear part of the egg. This plastic wrap represents the very thin um, membrane layer, in which is called the inner membrane. And then lastly, this white paper is gonna represent, you guessed it, the shell of the, of the egg. When we put this egg in vinegar, the vinegar dissolves the shell. And all we are left with are the three parts. The yolk, which is the yellow, the clear, which is represented by the blue balloon, albumin, and then this nice inner membrane. Semi-permeable means certain things can pass in and certain things can pass out. Not everything is able to pass in, only certain things. I would like for you all to reach and to do some research and find out 
what things are allowed to pass a, per, a semi-permeal membrane in our body cells. Now, here is the chemical equation. The eggshell is made, out of, made up of calcium carbonate. Ca is calcium and CO3 is the carbonate. When we mix that with the vinegar, vinegar is diluted acetic acid, which we have here. When we mix those two things together, with, as we see here, we're creating a chemical reaction. First, we have calcium acetate. That, that will be found in the solution. We also create water, H2O, and then lastly, carbon dioxide. And we are able to see carbon dioxide by looking at these tiny bubbles. The tiny bubbles, that is carbon dioxide. No more hard shell. And that hard shell is made up of, of what? Calcium carbonate. And just for fun, I put a raw egg inside of the vinegar and I let it set for 24 hours. And as you can see, look, look at what is happening. The shell is being dissolved and the yolk, the inner part of the egg, is starting to come out. I wonder what this looks like when we take it out of solution. So I'm going to pour the solution into a bowl. We now have a naked egg and what's left over is, look at this, that inner membrane. Look at it. It's all nice and rubbery. So we now have the inner membrane. Let's have one more look. As we can see, we have the yolk. We have the albumin, which is the clear liquid. And this is the inner membrane. Because the hard part of the egg was dissolved, thanks to the vinegar. So how does this egg and vinegar represent what's happening in the real world? Well, remember the eggshell, that's that hard part on the outside, one of its um, chemical components is calcium, same as our teeth. And vinegar is an acid. And as we can see how the acid wore away this hard part here, of the egg, that's what will happen to our teeth. That's why it is extremely important to drink a lot of water, not drink so many soda or carbonated drinks, and always brush your teeth after every meal. All right, thank you for joining me. I could do this all day.